What? I don't just play one boomer shooter. My story with Serious Sam goes all the way back to the summer of this year. My sister shares her Steam account with friends and workers of the newspaper that she works on. And one of those workers, who's also one of her friends, as Serious Sam the first and second encounter. And a while before that, I watched the Sinus videos about Serious Sam, more specifically these ones. And when I saw the games in my sister's library, I said, well, let's give it a try. I played the first game on normal, and I really <laughs> wish I didn't do that. I finished it, yes, but it wasn't exactly the best experience ever. Despite that little setback, I tried the second encounter and I enjoyed it, and then I moved on to free BFE, which I also enjoyed it, and recently I finished up with Series M4, which explains why I decided to make this video. And for this video, I decided to play with the Karnak level that was in the demo of the first encounter, mostly because it's the most recent level that I played, and... Uh, yeah, as I said, I still have some pretty bad PTSD from this game. But anyway, let's get on with the game! Okay then... Oh, hello there. Uh, oh, there we go. Where's the other guy? Uh, ooh! There we go. Uh, should be all of them! Oh. Knife, there we go. Okay. Uh-huh. There we go. And we got the shotgun. Hello there. Well, so... There you are. Ooh, nice. That will kill. There we go. Okay. Let me grab some... shells for the shotgun. Where is he? Oh, there he is. There we go. Yeah, when you're playing Serious Sam, more often than not, enemies are going to spawn the moment you pick up an object, and sometimes it really <laughs> takes the piss. But anyway, here there's a pit, and we have to move these two statues so that they could fill it with sand, and we, get, we can get safely across. There we go. Okay. And here they are. There we go. Ooh. And there we go. Get over the knife. And with a shotgun. And done. And here's section number two. Now, as to fill the pit with sand, we have to go to this temple, I guess? I guess it's a temple. There we go. And here's the... Probably, in my, in my opinion, probably the most annoying uh, an enemy in the whole series. Just hold on a second, there we go. Also, yes, enemies can be killed by via friendly fire. There's no mechanic like the infighting from Doom, but yeah, they can actually kill each other. There we go. There we go. Ooh. There we go. And dead. Let's pull the lever. And we're safe. Other, okay. There we go. Out. Bingo. And done. Okay, there we go. Let me just the piss off of this guy. There we go. Check him with the Gnar. There we go. And here comes the second most annoying enemy in the whole series. Mm. 
There we go. There we go. And the reason the reason why I call the warbles annoying is because well, one of them is not a big deal, but once they get more, many of them, it and they start and they start flying you all over the place, it becomes really annoying to deal. There we go. Same thing with the clear skeletons. Let's press the, these buttons. To open up that door if I want to say. Ooh! Hello. There we go. And here's the funnel button. Oh! God damn sensibility. That will kill. Nice. Now I don't remember seeing this in the travel brochure. This asshole is hit scan based. And essentially the moment you see him it becomes number one priority. It should be your number one priority to kill. Okay, let me switch to the shotgun, there we go. Shock no. There we go. Okay. And here is what he was guarding. There we go. And now here's a pretty tricky part. go double kill and here's the clear as well as these uh, specters one of these and we're done there we go One, get, come here, there we go. Dead. And dead. Uh -huh. There we go. Ow. There we go. Oh, sh shit. Thanks for that, game. Okay, so this door locked, and we have to go here, if I remember correctly. After dealing with all the Gunnars and all the enemies. There we go. Mm-hmm. And the coast is clear. There we go. Okay. You go die. Okay, he died. And he died as well. Flanganars. I guess that's their names. Oh, hello. No, no, don't no. get the fucking. There we go. Get the weapon that I actually want to use. There we go. And done. I smell an ambush. Yep. 
Remember when I said about tons of enemies spawning the moment you pick up objects? Well, here they are. Yep, there we go. Okay, let me... Okay, that never happened, that Sam shot the robot at the same time. Oh, shit! Ow. And there we go. The door is locked and there's a passage on the pool here and we have to enter the palace from there no okay no oh, uh. ah, here's the here's the uh okay there you go and done all right so let's get past this Mirror, quote unquote. And here's the RPs. Hold on a second, let me do it this. Okay. That was pathetic. There we go. About the RPs, they look like this in the first two games, but by Series M3 they made sure to make them hideous as fuck. There we go. You go fuck yourself. Ideally you'd want to use a um, minigun or a sniper rifle to kill them, but we have, only have the double barrel shotgun, so here we are. And yes, they're pretty short compared to Sam. I didn't know that the harpies were short, like until when I played until I played this map for the first time. There we go. Ow! Fuck you! There we go. Oh, speak of the devil. Let's get serious. Uh, I think I just some harpies. Or not, I guess? Okay. I forgot to mention, the minigun also works miracles with the clear. Especially when there are many of them. There we go. You got die. So do you. And you too. Everything should be clear. Nope. There we go. Then one and two. Three. Four. Something else? No, okay. And here comes one of the series' many fabled arena sections. Where you're going to get assaulted by a shit ton of enemies. Yes, I know I've said shit ton of enemies like 50 times, but that's the thing with Series Sam. In the meantime, let me kill this thing. There we go. Not that. Ow. You know what? Let's use the minigun. We have plenty of ammo anyway. 
There we go. There it goes. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we can switch weapons. Ow. There we go. And here comes the Serum Warble. Oh, damn it. You have to... Lead the Warble to destroy this door! If it wants to, you know, help me. Oof! There we go. Well, I get hit, but, you know... Uh-huh. Let me go... Around here, just to be safe. There we go. Okay, uh... Uh -huh. Ooh! Damn it. Who's next? Okay. And that's phase one. And here's phase two. There we go. Okay. Dead. Usha. There we go. I have no idea what I said either. Out. There we go. And dead. Okay, this is phase three. Oh boy. Four rockets if I'm four rockets. One, two, three, four. And there it goes. And here comes the RPs. Is there someone? Where are they? Oh, there he is. She is actually, sorry. And there we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, motherfuckers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Uh, four rockets for these guys? Oh, damn it. There we go. Two, three, four. Okay. There goes the warble out. And done. There we go. Oh, it's over, I think. Yeah, it's over.
And that's all of them. And that's the end of the demo. Well folks, that was Series 7 the first encounter. If you're asking if I'm gonna make a play for out of this, the answer is going to be no. For reasons I've explained earlier, as well as well you've seen me play, so yeah, I'd rather avoid it. But anyway, this has been it for this video. If you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't like this video, go away. If you want to see more content like this, hit subscribe and click on the notification bell so you get a little one next video drops. I have nothing else to say other than see you in the next video, everybody. This is Alpha, signing out.